Right, the first thing we do is we grab a little lead or lead free wire, whichever you want to do. And I'm going to lay down a base of this. Right, to before the eye of the hook. And we start off, I usually like to wrap thread into this, kind of secures it on there. Don't want it spinning on me when I'm tying. And I'm going to work my way right to before this where the lead is. And I want to tie in my uh, wire and my tailing fibers. For the wire, this is some UTC Ultra Wire, the brassy size. And tie that right there at the end. That's the nice thing about these little bobbin minor spool minders just hold that off there and then for the tailing material I'm going to use mallard flank the original pattern uses wood duck but it's uh, fairly similar and now seven or eight fibers I want to measure that off to be about equal with the body length transfer to the other hand and tie in now I'm going to work my way back over down to just into the bend of the hook just as it starts to bend down there. Trim this and the first color that I'm going to use is some lighter olive UV ice stubbing and I'm just going to dub that on there And then I want to build up a tapered body. To right about three quarters of the way up the hook shank. I want to take the wire, wrap that, ribbing the body. Usually you don't want to cut your thread with or your wire with good scissors, so I have some wire cutter scissors. Snip that off. Okay, now there's the body. And what I'm going to do now is tie in the legs, which again is the same material as the tail. And you can you can either do that just by tying them in like so, or you can soft tackle it. I'm gonna just kinda tie them on there. What I like to do is create uh, a V-shape, cut the tip off, fold that back, and then I'm just gonna lay these right down on top. And using the other hand I wanna kinda wrap these around so that it starts to wrap around the body. And then wrap a few wraps over it and then I can pull this forward and I want that equal to be about the body length of where it is. And then you tie that in. As you tie that in those legs will flare a little bit. Snip off that. Now for the thorax area I'm going to use a different color. I like the two-tone version of this so this is going to be a darker this is a sow scud, dub, scud dubbing actually. And this is just going to go a straight dub. And we're going to build this up. And build up a little bit of a head here. Clean that up. And I'm going to whip finish. Just about done. 
one of the things I like about this pattern is it's gonna, it can have a nice buggy look, feel look to it. So I'm going to grab some Velcro and just tease the fibers out. And there's the bird's nest.